This is Makina, one of the freehold condominiums along Mayor Road in District 15. 1152 square feet type of 3 bedded. You either get the sea view, the pool view, or this very beautiful landed facing that is right in front of us. You get this view of the landed prop. Now this is Makina, sitting on one of the largest plot of land with about 34,000 square meters in terms of its land size. Almost three times as big as some of the projects right here along Mayor Road with beautiful views of the sea as well as the landed enclave in the District 15 zone. We're heading up to check out this project, just renovated about five years back. And in future, once the Tanjong Katong MRT station is up along the Thompson East Coast Line, this is going to be one of the freehold that allows you to walk five minutes to the MRT station. So let's go. Makina happens to be one of the largest plot of land size along the Mayor Road belt. Mayor Road used to be very luxurious seafront bungalows in the past. As years goes by, a lot of the bungalows were being sold to developers and after approval from SLA, they're all being developed into high-rise seafront condominiums projects like this. And this was developed by CDR and Hong Leong, completed in the year 1998. Now just to give you a bit of context, if we were to move two doors down towards the left, Hand side. You're gonna see this project called Mayor Rice. Mayor Rice is about 10,000 odd square meters, 280 odd units, but Makina is about three times as big as Mayor Rice. There's only 504 units. We only have three towers, out of which 480 plus are all three bedroom types, 1,100 plus square feet type for three bedrooms, which is the one that we're standing right now. So later on, we're going to share with you some of the key differences between these few different layouts. You're going to see which one will suit your family's preference better. Now, D15 also happens to be one of the second most popular districts. And I think the key reason is because you are in such close proximity to town, you also get the close proximity by walking towards the sea as well. And having just 504 units sitting on a huge plot of land, something that is freehold, you're gonna have more potential engine built under your condominium compared to projects perhaps on a smaller plot of land. Of course, every project has its own pros and cons. Meantime, let's have a look at the layout first and then uh, we'll talk more about the renovation. All right, so this three bedroom is a 1152 square feet type of three bedroom, three bedrooms and two baths. Let's bring out the site plan for you to have a a look at some of the different kinds of sizes and layouts here for the three bedrooms. So Makina has three different kinds of facings. The first facing of course being the sea view facing. You definitely will notice that most seafront projects in Singapore, they all have this facing towards the highway right in front of them. And I think that's only natural because highways being built closer to the seabed allows for a faster transportation mode. Naturally, you definitely have a little bit of sound from the highway. If you want to head down towards the sea, just exit the back gate and then just a short walk away, the underground pass is just right there for you to cross opposite so you can cycle and scoot there with your kids over the weekend. So when our owners renovated this place, they told their ID that they wanted a gut renovation that's going to last them for the next 15 to 20 years. And that means that when you buy over this place, there is technically nothing much for you to do up. You can just literally move in. Now, many of the designs are pretty subtle, but they are very, very functional. That includes no unsightly exposed wirings. You have tons of power socket in every corner of the house. You don't really need to have extension cables because there are so many plug points that you can utilize multiple lighting points for change of lighting moods. Ceiling height has been maximized even though downlights are being installed on certain parts of the ceiling. Invisible grills are also done so very suitable if you have young kids at home. Very functional kitchen that has been done with a built-in dishwasher. Countertop in the kitchen and the bathrooms are also done with a branded quartz top called Caesar Stone. One of the common rooms has also been done up into a multi-purpose study room and that's great if you're working from home. And this TV is being positioned to maximize the watching distance especially for young kids at home. A whole thing can go up to a 2.4 meters table, sit eight packs comfortably. Small little unnoticeable fittings such as the window panels in the bathrooms and kitchens will all been changed in the new ones. Rubbish shoot, new. 
We love projects that were developed uh, nearer to the tail end of 1990s. The walkway towards the bedrooms are still there, but the front foyer is immediately you will have a full span of space that's being pumped into the dining and living area, leaving no wasted walkway zonings along the foyer. This layout has no balcony, so most of the space is being pumped within the layout itself. Flooring is marble, huge L-shaped couch just fits nicely into this corner. Aircons are, will all change. These are all Mitsubishi inverter aircons. You get this view of the landed property right here. <laughs> if you were to climb out here, like what I'm doing here, you get to see the pool from below. This pool is like a huge square right at the bottom. There's also a clubhouse right there, our own minima right here in Makina. And guess what? You have a squash court, you have tennis court, you have the front entrance which has full security. The beautiful thing is that this project has basement parking as well as level one parking. The huge landscape is for your family to enjoy. You can just literally just bring your dogs downstairs, take a walk. Corner TV console with a lot of display carpentry right behind me now. This TV as mentioned is to have a maximum viewing distance especially for kids. Tuck right here at this corner, beautifully done. You also have an extra wall space here that you can put in like a study table just like what is here right now. I'm gonna bring you to the kitchen first. Kitchen is done with three angles. First direction here is mainly for your dishwasher which is at um, should I call it the belly height? This height is perfect because you don't have to bend down and pull out. You just pull it out gently like this and then just fill in all your dishes and then just close it up. Perfect. This will be left behind for you. Washer come dry is tucked right at this corner. Not because our owners want to put it in the yard zone, but they find that here more convenient. You can still do a bit of natural clothes drying right in the yard zone as well. Of course, you want to reposition this over there. Then you just fill this up with some open shelves that's also doable. Now check out all the storage right here. So you have top storages, internal lamination, tons of different plugs right here. So you can put in like a coffee machine, you can put in your air fryer. You also have another space right here for you to put in your thermal mix as well as top corner shelvings. Nice beautiful corner magic basket right here so that you can utilize some space at the corner. Double sink that's being done. Now this is the branded quartz top scissor stone that is very long lasting. So you have three burner system right here, Bosch, Cooker, Hood and Hop. This area can be done to fit in your oven. Our owners don't have an oven here so they put in a microwave. But of course you can still install an oven. A lot of different storage space right here. This corner has been reserved for a double fridge space. So flooring, Nice different tonality here, a little bit of Peranakan style, about modern classic. Nice ventilation window here, you get a glimpse of the fireworks view as well when you're washing dishes. Are you kidding me? Just check out the indoor stadium right there. Caught in the mornings, held in the silence. So the good thing about projects that were done in 1998 is that you have a yard space for natural clothes dry. Now let's head back to the living area. This space here allows you to put up to a 2.4 meters table that is an eight seater like this one. You still have a display shelf right on the left hand side, huge mirror space here. And most importantly, this brick wall will be the main attention drawing wall feature of your home. Very long lasting in terms of its timeless design so you can keep it for many years to go. I'm gonna show you this very secret place first. Oh yes, this is like a hidden room that is within the dining space walking area. This is actually the third bedroom, a nice sized rectangular room, queen bed right here, side tables with this hidden envelope for six panels of wardrobe here, full top hung all the way. Bedrooms wise, the moment you walk in, these are all nice parquet floorings. All three bedrooms happens to have this beautiful landed property view of the whole mayor area, totally unblocked all the way to the far back of that side towards the Dakota zoning. So just check out the amount of space that we still have over at this area right here. You can still walk around. I'm gonna check out the other bedroom as well. Come, let's go. This room has been designed into a very flexible room in the sense that if you want to work here, and enjoy this beautiful landed property view, you can do that together with your hubby or your wife or you can use this room as a tuition room for your kids. Two person can sit here. This room is also purposefully done with this see-through glass so that 
as parents, when you work here, they get to see mommy and daddy in action working at home right here while they're playing in the living room. This is a movable sofa. If you want to replace this with a sofa bed, that's doable. If you want to remove this movable study table, that's doable as well. So the only fixtures right here are this L corner cabinetry system. A very functional open shelving bookcase as well as top storage that is hidden. Bottom storage as well. Very functional space that is tucked right along the window panels. And on the right hand side, you see that little construction right there that is where Tanjong Katong MRT station is going to pop up. A little bit more about MRT station is that this only takes you five stations to reach CBD. A couple of stops later, you hit Tanjong Ru, Marina Bay Sands, Orchard Boulevard. So this line is going to be one of the most exciting lines. Of course, you hit backwards towards Marine Parade. Marine Parade towards Marine Terrace Station, there's going to be 133,000 underground retail mall that's going to be set up. So you're going to have additional retail space on top of Marine Parade Shopping Mall plus all the eateries right there along Katong, which is just right in front of us over here. We'll move downwards towards the stadium area. There's going to be Kalang Mall as well. Oh my goodness, just check out this master room because the size is fantastic, beautifully designed. The fittings and fixtures are all designed to be timeless to suit a variety of styles. Most importantly, check out the view again because you can sit here. Don't sit here and play games lah, you know. Uh, just sit here and read a book. What is most important is that you get to enjoy this quiet facing. Let's check out the serenity. If you want to have a look at what are some of the new launch pricing that's doing right here, I'm going to point you to that pocket view of Mayer House. So Mayer House is now being under construction. The three bedrooms right there, they're all bigger size in nature. Lowest quantum will start from mid-2000 range, which is like $2,500 per square foot and above. If I go a few streets down the road, that's Mayer Mansion. Mayer Mansion is also around the $2,500 per square foot, upwards towards maybe even some premium units at $2,900 per square foot. Quantum price for three bedrooms is also towards the higher tier range. If you are shopping around for a freehold project, around the Mayer, maybe Amber area. What you're going to get is that you're going to see a lot of large size three bedrooms that's ranging towards the higher tier of the two mil mark, closing it towards the three mil mark. This property is asking for $2.1 million per square foot is about $1,800 plus. Bearing in mind that this renovation that's being pumped into place is close to a $300,000 mark that was being done with the gut renovation. When you buy a renovated unit like this one, you get the renovation being pumped into the purchase price compared to if you were to buy something that is not done up, you would renovate yourself, pump me cash or maybe for a renovation loan and stuff like that. So let's just have a look at the two key differences. Buy a renovated unit like this one at a full asking price of $2.1 million. Your 25% down payment plus your stamp duty is going to be this amount. Compared to let's say something that is not renovated at close to the $2 million mark, you have to spend in probably about $200,000 to renovate. This will be the total cash outlay combined with down payment. Total amount actually for non-renovated unit is more because the renovation is on top of your 25% down payment and your stamp duty. So if you're looking for something that uh, gives you an overall lower outlay, then go for a renovated unit and you can save time. You can still upgrade and change it for the next 10 years. Now, have a look at the bathroom. Oh, look at this door. Rain shower, Caesar stone quad top, bottom cabinetry, the wall tiles are beautiful, hidden pockets right along this side, and of course you have pockets like this that you don't have to buy, additional stick-on kind of toiletry holders, all this is being done just like in the hotel, and all this can only be done with guard renovation because you need to run a lot of internal pipings, and the key idea when our owners renovated this place, they don't want to see water rings popping up externally. Again, this is very suitable if you want to keep your range close to the $2 million kind of range because this is asking at 2.1. So if you want to have a look at this place and you want this view, you give a call to our listing manager. The numbers are all right down below. My name is Melvin Lim, Procter Lim Brothers. As always, we're happy to show the place in time. Take care. View as well as the land, the, as well as, okay, toys. <laughs> 在這邊路過。如果我回來呢?OK,好,非常的好。Testing <笑> okay, 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. A little bit of brief history here is that uh, we are sitting 